After two rounds of a nationwide crackdown on the popular front of India on September 22nd and the 27th of September, the central government has now banned the PFI and all of its associates, affiliates and fronts for a period of five years under the UAPA or Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. The PFI has now been added to the list of 42 banned terrorist organizations under Section 35 of the UAPA. PFI's associate organizations include the All India Imam Council, the Rehab India Foundation and the National Women Front, among others. Beyond this, the MHA has also empowered state and union territory governments to take action against funding operations linked to the outfit and its affiliates. That's the big story that we're tracking at this hour. After two rounds of a pan-India crackdown, those pan-India raids that we saw, we finally seen a ban that has now come in for the Popular Front of India for a time period of five years. Before I bring in my colleagues for a discussion of what this really means and what is the kind of political war of words that this has resulted into, let's listen in to some reactions first. This is uh, a very, very welcoming move. I'd like to express our gratitude to Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Home Minister Amit Shah for this uh, bold action. It is a very good step. Kendri Grahan Talal has taken a very good step. And in the whole country, it is a very happy place. It is a very good place to get out of the country and the government has been able to get out of the country. पीएफआई पर रोक लगाना बहुत आवश्यक था इन लोगों ने प्रदेश और देश के अमन चयन को डिस्टर्ब करने का उचित प्रयास किया था गैर कानूनी गतिविधियों में संलिप्त थे और इनके नेटवर्क को पूरी तरह से ध्वस्त कर देना ये हम लोगों का प्रथम कर्तव्य है इट वॉज अ लॉन्ग टाइम डिमांड बाई द पीपल ऑफ दिस कंट्री बाई ऑल पोलिटिकल पार्टीज इंक्लूडिंग अपोजिशन लाइक सी पी एंड कांग्रेस पी एफ इज इज अवतार ऑफ सिमी केएफडी पीएफआई संगठन जो है ये जो पॉपुलेशन जो इंडिया ये जो पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद के नारे लगाते हैं उनको इस देश में ऐसे नारे लगाने का कोई अधिकार नहीं है ये गोवा पूरी तरह उनका बंदोबस्त करेगी और केंद्र सरकार ने जो निर्णय लिया है जो कि निर्णय लिया है इस देश में देशभक्तों का ये देश है ये राज्य है राष्ट्रभक्तों का है या देशद्रोही बयान किसी पर कोई कर नहीं सकता है और वो साइन भी नहीं किया गया let me also now bring in my colleagues to take this discussion forward. We already have Anshul joining us on the broadcast. He's joining us from outside the PFI's office at Shaheen Bagh. We'll shortly be joined by Arunima, who's been tracking these developments for us as well. Anshul, let me come to you first. Uh, we saw pan-India raids not once but twice, which had once again raked up the debate that is this now the right time for this ban to come in to try and put a stop as far as the radicalization activities on the ground. Talk to our viewers about what has really led to this ban for a time period of five years. So yes, the call for banning PFI is not a very new uh, is is not a very new demand, but has been prevailing for a very very long time. But this time around, the kind of case that the central government has been able to build against the PFI, it is going to be very very difficult for the PFI to go ahead and challenge that in the in the courts because we saw that the raids that happened on the 22nd of September, especially in this office right behind me, the PFI headquarters in the national capital, uh, many incriminating documents were found from here. Not only documents in terms of uh, paper, but also documents in terms of uh, Electronic evidences were also seized from here, which included mobile phones, uh, laptops, cameras, and, and all of that is under evidence. Also, the kind of evidences that were found in that same raid uh, from places like Bihar, where the document of uh, the Mission 2047, where India should be converted into an Islamic state, and the entire playbook that was received from there. Also, the evidences that came to the fore were uh, attack, the attack that was that happened in Gandhi Maidan uh, during the P uh, Prime Minister's rally, that, and how PFI was involved in actually carrying out that uh, uh, serial bomb blast in Gandhi Madan during the Prime Minister's rally in 2013. All these proofs have now been gathered by the NIA and finally they have come out, uh, the central agency, uh, the central government has finally come out and now imposed this ban on the PFI for the next five years which actually means that the uh, case is absolutely, absolutely rock solid 
and hence the PFI since morning has not yet commented on the entire action and has not provided what they are going to do in the future if they are actually uh, going to move the courts because the evidences that they have been that the central government have been able to gather from these things that happened on the 20, uh, 22nd and then on the 26th or uh, 27th of September because remember the raids that happened on the 22nd senior of the, uh, senior workers yeah. of the PFI were arrested but the raids that happened yesterday the on ground workers were arrested and hence the back of PFI mm. has now now been broken by the central government so it is very very unlikely that PFI will, would be able to stand yet again on its feet but yes the central government is absolutely confident that whenever the hear, hearing happens in the uh, UAPA panel they can actually defend the, this decision that Correct. has been take, uh, taken by them because if they wanted to ban PFI mm. they have been in the power for last 8 years and it could have been done at any point in time but yes the case that Correct. they have been able to and make, look at what has actually around, led to this ban on Shoal the secret and agenda and to actually radicalize society to try and destabilize peace look at the kind of global links that have been traced to the middle east and to pakistan as well but at this time the other question that is also being raised is okay you've got a ban on the pfi for a period of 5 years but what about outfits like the stpi because this was a similar concern when we saw a ban on simi in 2001 that it could take another name another shape and form as well what is the guarantee that after this ban it will be the end as far as these activities are concerned Uh, so yes, the government is absolutely sure that the kind of situation that developed in 2002 after the Simi, after Simi was banned in India, the, that kind of situation doesn't arise because the kind of uh, arrest and activities that we have seen happening, they have already see, arrested the senior officials, they have arrested the on-ground workers, they have seized the uh, accounts and uh, and and everything of the of this organization. So it is going to be really tough for the PF, PFI to get again uh, to change their names because all the senior leaders have been arrested, the on-ground workers who actually had some say among the workers have also been taken into custody so yes it is going to take a long 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 time for them to actually come up with the name and actually gather gather that uh, force of workers that actually needs needs to be gathered to run a very big organization like the PFI so yes the central government has made it absolutely sure that the back of PFI is broken this time around and they are not able to stand on their feet yet again and that is the reason why we saw those Correct. surprise raids yeah. that happened i remember the raids that happened yesterday we also got to know that even the raiding parties didn't know till early morning that they had to go Correct. on a so it, it was all done in a very secret, secret, secret manner and hence sure. the PFI hasn't got a time to respond to all this. Okay, Anjali, I just request you to stay on with us. We'll continue the conversation in just a bit. Just for the benefit of our viewers, we want to now break down the details in terms of what really has led to this ban and more importantly, what does this ban mean for the PFI as far as the time period of five years is concerned. But what really has actually led to this ban? What were the red flags? What were the concern points? The first is a secret agenda to radicalize the society. Remember, we had seen two sets of pan-India raids as far as PFI is concerned. And post that, we were also picking up details that possibly they could now be indulging in a revenge plot as well. The second is linked to terror groups like the ISIS to try and destabilize peace as far as the country is concerned. The third has potential to disturb peace, as I was pointing out. More importantly, what is also important to note here is that there is enough evidence to prove that the PFI is indulged in illegal activities. More importantly, also what we need to focus on is that there is a prejudicial to security of India. It is a matter of national interest. So now you've got a ban as far as a time period of five years is concerned. Many also now pointing out actually what really has led to the delay as far as this ban is concerned. And more importantly, as I was discussing with Anshul a short while ago, that what happens to outfits like the STPI? Why aren't we seeing any sort of action on them? I believe